Yeah, 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 come on. If it doesn't need it, don't do it. No. This interior is pretty tidy. There's a stain on the seat. The footwells and carpets look a bit shit. The seat rails look a bit shit. So we'll spend extra attention on the shit bits and the clean bits. We'll just give a quick wipe over with, with a bit of G101, bit of citrus. How I attack stains is that nine times out of 10, if it's a deeper stain like we've got here, lather it in G101 first, just to dwell. And then I'd soak a, the whole seat with citrus. Mm -hmm. Normally you do the whole seat, but today we'll just focus on the bases because they look a little bit grubby. Spray it on, drill brush it in, and then extract it with a hoover. Job done. Yeah, why not? We take it out, let it breathe. Yeah. Carpets are pretty clean. Yeah, let's hang it up and get it bone dry. As a rule of thumb, always do the, the wet, messy stuff first, then I like to do the, the seats and the carpets together first, um, both sides, that's, so that's the messy work done, and then the plastics, then the windows, and then one big hoover. So my theory, everyone else is different, is make one big mess, yeah. then do one big clear up. Lasts, yeah, because otherwise you can hoover a bit, make a mess, hoover a bit more. You're just falling over and you're like, oh, I've just done that, but it's now messy again. What? Oh, 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 come on! Cool. We'll soak and lather up the main stain there, which is always in between your legs, in between your crotch. Yeah. So there's no point spending ages with your handheld spray because you're just wasting time. Yeah. That's too wet. That's not enough. Yeah. Something in the middle, yeah? yeah? Leave it on there for two to three minutes. Do you boys use a, what's called a scrubber dubber? Yeah, we've got a couple of those. Cool. This is great now, just for spreading that chemical around the seat down the sides of the seats all nice and evenly yeah. because you probably haven't sprayed it 100% evenly yeah. this just spreads it all around you like you were saying with the citrus does it leave like a like a, a yeah, water it makes it sound very like acidity or... yeah like it would leave like white staining if you don't remove it so even though I've sprayed it onto there as long as I wipe it or agitate it it will come off right. I could even leave this product on there now yes it will dry back shit because we haven't pulled the chemical through the cloth but it won't dry stainy but if you take it to the international boys, they have got really strong cleaners, which leaves it all stainy and horrible. Cool, it's got like a, like a torque converter th thing there, isn't it? Yeah. Whoop. It's important to wet the seat evenly and scrub the seat evenly, yeah. just so it doesn't dry back patchy or where you have and haven't done. Yeah. Now that seat, as far as prep, is ready for extraction with the with the hoover. Yeah. Will the hoover is, is extract enough? Or? Yes. So it's just enough to lift the dirt from the surface and pull it through. Mm -hmm. For jobs like this, it does the job. Just the fish tail end, mm -hmm. the, the white one, the clear one, just so you can see what you're pulling through. Yeah. If the seats are stinker mm -hmm. or light coloured and it needs loads of G101, needs loads of chemical, then it is worth using the, the water the squirt extractor, one. squirter yeah. end. Yeah. But a seat like this, mm -hmm. this is just going to need a light extraction with just the hoover yeah. and the fishtail end yeah. just to bring the, you know, the fibres back to colour and back to life. Okay. Um, so once we've done everything else, this yeah. will still be damp in about an hour yeah. for the one big hoover. So in that hoover, we'll flick it around all the carpets, we'll extract all in one, mm -hmm. so everything should tie in all nicely and together. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. come on! This is quite a clean door anyway, yeah. so it's not really a fair example to show you, but even if it's clean, it still goes through the same process. Yeah. Can we get away with just wiping this with a microfiber? Yes, probably, but for the sake of getting the results nice and even, uniformed and like professional looking, yeah. it's always worth going over it anyway. Okay. Dashboard, we can get away with just a light cloth, yeah. but the door cards, the side sills, all the main areas, we really want to give it a good scrub. Yeah, okay. If a scrubber rubber and G101 doesn't do the job, mm -hmm. something needs to increase in aggression. Mm -hmm. Try this first, let's go for a nail brush. Yeah. If not, and it still looks crap, put some more G101 in there. And you just apply it straight to the scrubber and then... Yep, yeah. that way it saves over spray going over the window, over everything that you've already done. Yeah. Lather it all up. Yeah. With any product, the longer it's got to dwell, the more cleaning power it has yeah. all over this. 
then all the thing with the interiors. Somebody said you've done a good job or a shit job is as to whether you've gone around the edges or not. It's the first thing people look at. Speaker grills can also catch you off guard. Yeah. So it's always worth going in with a stiff, heavy brush. Yeah, yeah. then to reveal our finish. Um, and it's also good for shaking up the sand in the carpet. Yeah. Which is half the battle of getting these carpets clean, is shaking it all out from the bottom. Ow, oh, 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 come on! Vents, vents, intricate areas are the first and last thing people see. So yeah. making an extra effort to spray it on the brush, the G101, around the edges and then blast it out with the air. The reason we blast it out with the air is just to fast forward the drying process to see what the finished result is. If it needs doing it again, luckily we've got clean interior, then do it again. Because it's really easy to get in the moment, do everything nice and quickly, yeah. and then go bit there, bit there, bit there. Yeah. Whereas drying it down, you can get the finished result straight away, and then go, I need a little bit more there before I move on. Slow and steady wins a race. And with these areas, the way of attacking it, I like to start at the top, and then work your way down. Yeah. There's no real right or wrong way. I like to start with up here, put down the A-pillar, over the dashboard, down the center console, all down the sides, work my way down. Then we start moving backwards. Yeah. Um, and it's up to you whether you want to start or finish with the door card. Okay. Makes no real difference. But as long as everything gets sprayed, everything gets agitated and everything gets dried, then we're on to a winner. Yeah. So if I get you to do the yeah, yeah. dashboard here, Bit of a cheat code is that you can get away with a microfiber and a spray on the cloth, yeah. wipe it down. Yeah. But maybe a little bit more, there's maybe like a little bit edge here. Yeah. Just check from the other side that there's no obvious like dirt, dirt line, line. Yeah, yet. Yeah. Um, and all in the vents and everything else. Mm -hmm. The gloss blacks can go smeary yes. and they're quite hard at the end. Get a bit of quick detailer or some glass cleaner just to evaporate any smudges. Oh. With drying cloths, mm -hmm. there's a good rule of thumb is having a wet one yeah. for the initial wipe. Yeah. And then when you're using the airline, have a second one as a dry, right. just so you can see the results there and then yeah. instead yeah. of spreading around all the mess. Okay. Um, scrub a dub of the flats, yeah. brush around the edges, mm -hmm. blow everything else dry. Right, okay. Let me see how you get on. Yeah. At right at the end, we'll wrap a detailer in uh, QD it again. What you could do now is wipe it, then we'll make some more mess, and then wipe it again. So we'll just wait till all the mess is made. We'll fuzz up the floors. We can, sp we can citrus up the carpets as well, and drill brush the carpets. We can do that now, yet yeah, make all the mess. Perfect for vents. Okay. And the zhuzhuh is yeah. good just for carpets. Carpets. Yeah. But then the zhuzhuh is good for speaker grills. Yeah. Whereas that's good for like localizing blasting, if that makes yes. sense. Yeah. As long as you do it from a distance, you'll be yeah. fine. And yeah. at an angle, you'll be fine. But you don't want to put it in there and press it because you'll pop the speaker speaker cone. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah, give it a go. Spray up those pedals and a bit of a wheel brush as well. Really, really get in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. come on. Exact same principle here. I've sprayed everything up, scrubbed everything up. I'll just wait to the airline until it's free. Mm -hmm. I'll buzz all this. Like, this is perfect for those areas there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sprayed up the door cards already. Yeah. So we'll get them scrubbed covered. Everything's soaking, everything's dwelling, everything's doing something yeah. whilst you're working on something else. Okay, yeah. yeah? yeah. And then, We'll make all the mess, we'll agitate all around the grooves and crevices, yeah. and then we'll do one big wipe down, one big hoover yeah. right at the end. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what I like to do here is I normally can take one of those grommets out, make all the mess, and then rinse the water down the hole. Yeah. But those grommets are, have been in there for like seven years and they're yeah. not budging. Um, yeah, I, think not even. I thought they did, yeah, but it's like a really stiff one. Oh, come on. Is it coming out? Yeah. 
Oh, at like microscopic speed. You know what? I think we'll quit whilst we're ahead and leave that as a as a rubber stain oh, to the boot. Yeah. Yeah, it will be hidden. Yeah. But everything else will get. Um, I still need to do the rear door cards, A pillar, uh, B pillars, C pillars, headlining. Give it all a wipe, all of it a bit of a mush. Yeah. Where things are at the moment is cracking for a full valet. Yes, you can go those far, that far. But unless there's a massive markup in the value of the car, then it's really not worth yeah. it. No. You know, I'm sure Joe might say, look boys, this is a bit of a special one, go the extra mile. Yeah. But yeah, what we're doing now and today is a solid for a standard full valet. In our world, this should take an average of one person, three to four hours, mm -hmm. the entire process that we've done today. Mm -hmm. Excluding a machine polish, which we'll cover after oh, lunch. I did notice speed. all in like in the cubby holes in there as yes. well. Yeah. So we'll sh just for speed, mm -hmm. those uh, speaker grills I can see are quite gunked up with shit. Yeah. yeah. So extra attention to the grills, extra attention to the cubby holes, yeah. scrub a dub with the entire panel. Yeah. Just like the door card. Yeah. Stiff brush and then, um, you know, blow dry. Yeah. And um, yeah, cool. exact same process. Let's get it done, boys. And especially double teaming interiors, massive communication is needed. Have you done this? Shall I get on this? Have you done this? You can really smash out an interior like this in about an hour with two of you. Oh my, why did I do that for? Come on, cool. Lunch break. Ow, oh, 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 come on! Um, Max, do you normally steam clean them and hang them up to drip dry and then hoop them off the end? So I normally just hoop them straight out. Um, if they have like grubby grubby, I'll G101 them and then just drill brush. Yeah, and then, and then yeah, room. Yeah, then bang it again. As a rule of thumb, if they are quite clean, you can get away with that. But do you tend to keep these ones? Because a lot of car places just bit them. No, so we. Keep hold of them. Yeah, keep hold of them. Uh, and then, yeah, we leave it to the customer. If they don't want them, then that's fine. That's their decision sort of thing. The best reset, the time to finish, mm -hmm. is do you want one of them, scrubbing them with a drill brush and pressure washing them off, yeah. leaving them to drip dry somewhere kind of like in here so it can, and then at the end of the day, yeah. flick it over with a hoover. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That way when they're dry, they look really good. Yeah. The problem is sometimes with like that mat, for example, doesn't look too bad. No. It's probably grubbier than you think. Yeah. You get it wet, get it drill brushed, yeah. and then when it dries, it doesn't look like you've done anything. No, no. Um, so it's always worth getting to a habit of steaming them, unless they're mint. Yeah. Um, and then that will save you a lot of time and hassle. Yeah, and okay. you get the best out, but I'd leave it out to dry. Yeah. And take them out at the beginning with all the wet work. Yeah. Get them done, hung up and out of the way, so they're dripping for the rest of the day. Right. Then by the end of the day, they're ready for a quick little hoover. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just because the scrubber all around the edges here, yeah. the scrubber dubber wouldn't have got in there. No. So I'm not going to mess around straight in with a nail brush. Yeah. What we used to do in our, my original job in the valeting centre in Wellington mm -hmm. is you had to nail brush everything. No scrubber dubber. Okay. So you knew you got the 100% output every single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can imagine how long that took. Oh, God, yeah. Come on. Ah! Oh, wait, wait. Got ya. Oh wow, that's dried about pretty shit in there. <laughs> it has dried pretty shit, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Going through this and it drying back like this is the reason why people hide it with silicon. Mm. I'm not a believer of that, so we'll give it a one more go. Hoover it, blow it dry again. Yeah. And if that doesn't fix it, then out comes a magical dressing. But at least we're going down the avenues of trying to sort out a nice result. Yeah. Instead of short cutting to the Making slick. it look nice, but not actually having, like you say, the effort put in. To make it look good. Yeah. 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 And it does look 10 times better when you cleaned it, then apply a dressing, yeah. instead of applying dressing over mud, <laughs> which is what a lot of people do. To be honest, I think that just needs like a, I don't know what we call it, a flunky, but um, just a bit of product on a cloth, just to mop up the bit of mud. Yeah. Instead of going through it all again. Yeah. Marginally better with a fresher cloth and <clears throat> a bit of product. Sometimes you just got to go over it. I also have to remember it's a Fiesta, yeah. not yeah. a Ferrari, but it still gets the same treatment. All of this for one plastic. Look how much better that looks, but I'm just going to fast forward the drying time.
See, this plastic is never going to be appreciated now. It's probably going to be appreciated by some dog yeah. Yeah, 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 who's yeah. never going to see this. But at least I know tonight when I go to sleep that I've made an effort in cleaning this. That looks a million times better. That white fading of the plastic is just wear and tear. That's nobody's fault. So a little bit of dressing is just going to darken the appearance of it so it looks a million times better. So the answer was there. Just two attempts has made it look a million times better. That looks really good around there. Look at it. Real good. No green to be seen around here, my man. Yeah, oh. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. come on. Always have a dusty brush to hand. Just to flick the dust into the end of the... Just as a bit of a finesse. Yeah. And obviously just where it's just been sat, a little bit of dust has landed, but you don't want to wipe it again. No, no. Just trickle the dust. That actually looks pretty decent. So here, with the fish tail end, mm -hmm. all the products that we sprayed at the beginning, yeah. I've just extracted out. Yeah. So that's the finish that we've got. Right. Is it absolutely concourse? No. There's a stain in the corner, a couple of little marks here and there. Yeah. But let's be realistic on the time frame, the turnaround, it now looks banging. Yeah. Got rid of that main stain around here. Yeah. And it's not too wet, so it doesn't take ages to dry. Mm -hmm. So it's an absolute winner of a finish, yeah. considering it had a spray, quick drill brush, yeah. and a hoover out. If it still looks crap, yeah then we just have to repeat the process, right. but you just have to isolate the, the worst looking areas. Yeah. Just so when it dries, it all looks uniform. Yeah. Um, there's a misconception that if you spot clean an area, that area will be cleaner than the rest of it. Yeah. But as long as it's all had chemical on it at some point, yeah. it'll, all look, it'll all dry evenly. Okay. Yes, it was a clean interior. Well, a, a straight interior to start with, yeah. but that looks a whole lot cleaner for a, just a little bit of work. Yeah. As long as it's sprayed, agitated, it will extract. Yeah. Um, and if it has dried out a little bit and you're not actually getting any um, chemical come up the nozzle, yeah. um, you can spray a little bit of water on it just to like to reactivate the product which is sat into the, um, the seat. Yeah. Um, and then you're then pulling the clean water through the seat yeah. and bringing the chemical to the surface. Okay. So I'll just have a quick... See it all coming up? Yeah, yeah. And then if you want, when you get to the bottom, you can flip it upside down and go yeah. upwards oh, okay, yeah, yeah. to make your life a bit easier. Do you know where you get to there? Yeah. There we go. And then you can flip it upside down and meet the line. Don't worry about chasing the color of the chemical coming through because otherwise you'll be there for hours. As long as you've had one to one and a half good slow pulls. Because yeah. if you, the harder you push yeah. and the slower you go, you'll be able to find dirt from beneath the surface layer. Yeah. So we're only gonna get it, we're only gonna pull the first like 10 mil through. Right, okay. Not that we're not worried about underneath because you're not gonna see it. So as long as it on the on the top layer looks clean, presentable, and we haven't made it look worse, yeah. then we can move on to the next bit. Cool. That looks really smart, mate, to be fair. Given everything. Um, now we'll just run around the inside of the windows yeah. and then we'll wrap up the back and then we'll get you on the polisher. We'll just get over that initial what the f stage yes and just yeah. go this is what i'm doing this is what it's getting yeah this is how the machine works uh some do's and don'ts with the panels mm -hmm. and then you'll be flying and then it's literally a copy and paste for every single car basically yeah. Yeah. so we'll change all the lead up to it and get a good result yeah, 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 cool. and not worry about it either you wipe it off that's what i've left that's what i'm gonna get that's the finish yeah which is the hardest part of the game because i used to chase every single mark out yeah and then two weeks later, they'll go for a drive for a car wash and put all those marks back in again. So this is the thing. So as long as it looks shiny, yeah. presentable, super glossy, you've done your job, next one in. Yeah. Like get like a conveyor belt going. Okay. Water spray. Water spray. Cool, just to reactivate a bit of this dried out product. Yeah. We'll get that hoovered out, we'll get that wiped up, and that should look as good as it's gonna look. We could, if we get the hoover in there, all around the edges. Third time, second time, it's dried back pretty gnarly so we're just gonna have to wipe it and dress it as best as we can yeah and just call it a day because otherwise you if we keep doing this over and over and it you know over and over again the only other way is taking depending on the level of the clean mm -hmm. is taking that actually out pressure washing it and putting it all back in again yeah time frame kind of turn around we haven't got time to do that today mm -hmm.
that's the best of a bad scenario. We can put that wheel back in there. Yeah. Depending on how grubby the wheel is, you can also clean it separately, like it's a a wheel yes, um, yeah, yeah. in part of the other process. Yeah. If that makes sense. Unless you're going to get a razor blade on that, that's not going to look any different because it's all like stubble. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think I don't think this van warrants a razor blade treatment. Ready to get the machine polisher on the go? Use compressed air on your machine to blow the compound out. Yeah. Ooh, satisfied. <laughs> with a hard pad, you're kind of fixed and you're like, ugh, ugh, battling with it. Yeah. And we're just gonna spread that polish to the area that we wanna work to. Yeah. And this is what we call a gloss enhancement machine polishing. 